What is up guys? So, I am starting my curly hair journey. So I went to my local beauty store and I got some products. Um, but before I start, I've always been super really insecure about my hair. Uh, why? I don't really know. But maybe, I don't know, it could just be because of like where, how, where I grew up and like how I grew up maybe. Um, Cause no one in my family else has this hair. Um, so this is my hair with um, just the Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. Um, I hear not so good things about Cantu, so I wanted to get new stuff. Um, I found this amazing YouTuber who does like curly hair things. She's a hairdresser and she does like reviews on products, like how to take care of your hair. And one of the things that I learned, because I went to the gym this morning and I took a shower there, is um, please ignore my dirty brush. Uh, <laughs> this is my brush. And Denman, the Denman brush or whatever. Something like that. I learned is that you get like this, and it worked. It freaking worked. Is like to basically like when your hair is wet, take it and then just like go out. And it kind of gives it like the like ribbon effect. Like kind of like we put a scissor through ribbons. That's what she said. And honestly, it's the same because... I did that and oh my god, it makes such a huge difference because when you brush down, it doesn't look good. I will be reviewing all of these products. So, first one is a spray bottle. I got it, uh, I got all these at the, like, my local like beauty supply store. Um, it all has like the tags on it, but yes. I got purple because uh, apparently I'm on a purple craze, like those purple girl memes, like <laughs> like I didn't even try to do that but yeah oh also my nails I got my nails rainbow for pride anyway moving on with the video because I keep stalling I also got this brush it is glide and define detangle nine row non-slip brush flexible brush rows and it has like that moving thing Oh, I hear really good things about it. I've used it once before. I wasn't really sure if I was into it. I'm gonna give it a go because everyone keeps saying, telling me that this is some good. My video camera died. Next thing is this shampoo brush. I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. Um, I'm a little skeptical, but everyone keeps swearing about it. Buy it. Um, I got it for it was like four bucks at the beauty supply store. And it's supposed to help with dandruff, which I really need help with because I have really bad freaking dandruff with my hair. It was also recommended by that YouTuber that I have been obsessing over for the last 24 hours. These self-explanatory duck bow clips, really super cheap. So this was extremely, extremely, extremely recommended. This the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mufa Mafu Hydrating Hydration Hair Mask. Ooh, with fig extract, honey, and fig. It's cruelty free, family founded, fair trade. No par parabens, no, I can't even pronounce that one. No mineral oil, no animal testing, mo no petroleum. I cannot speak today. Not expensive, like $14.99. Hope it's freaking worth it because this was the most expensive item on here. Like I said, I will be reviewing all of these. I will be doing them to my hair later tonight. And I'll let you guys know how it goes for me. Next item is African Black Soap. Uh, this is honestly just for my skin and acne. I hear good things about this, so I'm willing to try it. And it smells super freaking good. <laughs> um, it's three bucks and it's a product of um, Ghana. And I've always wanted to try it, so hopefully it works. The last two items are Kuza. Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner and Kuza Black Castor Oil Shampoo. These were about like six bucks each and I hear a lot of good things about castor oil. I hope it works. <laughs> I hope these all will, works. Um, I can't speak today. The gently removes build up, will not strip hair and restore shine. And I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, it smells so good too. Ooh, they both smell different. Ugh, it's both smell really delicious though. I've always wanted to try black casserole on my hair. So, hopefully this works out really well. 
because I'm excited and I just dropped like $50. It is the night time. I took a nap because your girl got her monthly. Finally, here we are. Here's my natural hair. It's pretty freaking big. I know I never really show it, but hopefully this stuff will help me because my hair is very dry. So I'm going to be using all of the product. I'm going to do shampoo conditioner first. Then I'm going to do the shea. And then after the shea, I'm going to use the black African soap. Um, and then I'm going to use this thing for shampoo. And then this thing for taking away the tangles. So let's get started. So it's been about a couple weeks since I have been doing this hair routine and I dyed my hair brown and here are the results.